Do you have a miner? This heat sink uh, has fallen. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can fix it. So in this case, I have a, a customer who sent me this, this board. I'm going to show you here, I'm going to show you. So this is the, the board that I'm, I'm repairing. So I just put these two uh, together. I just glued them and now I'm going to do the same thing with the, with the rest, as you can see here, I'm going to show you. Here, I'm going to zoom out uh, so that way you can see. So if you have to uh, fix uh, this, you, you're going to know how to do it. So here, as you can see, I have all these uh, um, heat sink and I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. So here you have the cheap uh, thermal compound glue, about different, two different brands. And here I have the most expensive uh, brand, this Arctic Silver, but this is great. So you have par part A, part B, and if you use both, uh, they, I mean, it will work. This is just one glue, and it is it's not that good, but I'm going to talk about that, that uh, later. So let's, uh, let's talk uh, about how to fix this. So in this case, you have this. The first thing that you have to grab is your whiskey so if you have your whiskey in hand you're going to be able to clean all the hint sick so in this case you're going to need isopropylic alcohol so if you can get something uh, you know 99% uh, or the higher the, the better so in this case this is what I was able to, to get but it will be good enough to clean this up so in this case I'm going to show you how to clean this too and I'm going to grab one of these uh, curates, so very easy, just grab one of these, you dip it on the tequila, and then you're going to just rub it here. Make sure uh, that you don't use anything that is abrasive or anything like that, no sandpaper or anything like that, because if you damage the chip, uh, you're going to be, you're going to have a bad day, so in this case, Make sure that you clean it as much as possible without destroying anything. And there it goes. So in this case, a customer sent me this board to fix. As you can see, we have uh, some dirt uh, around this. So if you need, if you want me to fix this, I can do it for you. All my, all the information is in the video description. Otherwise, I'll uh, just follow my instructions. Uh, you should be okay. So. The other thing that you have to do, you have to clean this up as well. So make sure it's yeah, as clean as possible. So you grab one, grab the other one. Uh, this is this different size. So you're going to grab the other one. So this, I'm going to fix them later. So I wanted to make sure that I had all the the heat sinks. So once you do that, you clean them as much as possible. You're going to wear your goggles uh, because in this thing, I mean, if, if you don't, if you splash your eyes with uh, alcohol, you're not going to feel very good. You're not going to be happy. So let's do this, and then you're going to use the Dremel. In this case, I'm using a Cordless Dremel and it works great. Let's dip it a little bit more on alcohol. Make sure the alcohol will not get in, in your eyes. If you want, you can do the same thing here. Make sure that you don't damage the, the core. In case this is not the case, but just in case I'm telling you this, if you are having some trouble because you have a lot of glue and 
the alcohol is not working also with this type of tip that is not working that is with fabric is not working you can use this this is a steel brush you can use it only on this don't use it on these otherwise you're going to damage the the chip you don't want to do that so worst case scenario you can apply maybe a little bit of heat and then you can use a little bit more of alcohol so that way you can remove all the glue but uh, don't don't do don't don't use this just in case i want to make sure that you don't damage your equipment so once you finish doing all the cleaning just cover the alcohol the other stuff as well and then what you're going to do now uh, you're going to put this on the side and then all this the heat sinks on the side as well and then you're going to grab a piece of cardboard and then you're going to put a little bit of this not not that much just a little bit because when remember that you're going to use both uh, both uh, um, compounds so if you um, if you use too much I mean you're going to waste it and this is kind of expensive this costs like $50 uh, against the $8 or $10 but this doesn't work it's not strong enough so I'm going to show you in a little bit so that way you can see the difference between the the repair with this and uh, with the other ones I try both I don't recommend the other one the other one is a waste of dollars so it's a waste of your fiat so now that you mix it uh, very well you're going to grab it like that and then you're going to put just a tiny bit as you can see here a tiny bit here and that's it so this in few hours if you let it uh, dry for three four hours it should be plenty enough the others the other glue that i was talking about you can let it even a day two days and it will never dry it, it will never be hard enough so what you do push it do the same thing push it and let it and let it dry for a few hours so now i'm going to compare the repair with the low quality glue and with a with a good one so now i'm going to zoom in so that way you can see a little bit more in detail so now i'm going to show you so that way you can see this is the thing this this is a just a blank tube as you can see here and uh, what they have done is they put uh, some type of sticker and then you can have your own brand you know i could have my own brand gavac glue and uh, they did the same thing here so basically both are kind of the same i thought there were going to be different things i tried both at least uh you know eight dollars ten dollars each against 50 almost 50 dollars uh, this if you are outside of united states you don't have it and you want me to send it uh, to you i can do that i am in us in ohio so you can send me um, a message and i'll send it uh, to whatever part of the world that you are fedex ups or whatever so this is the the good uh, repair and this is the bad repair with a low quality glue so as you can see i can move it a little bit and it's the it seems like it's still flexible so as you can see it has movement this is the good one so as you can see i i i, I try to move it uh, that way and it's not going it's not moving anywhere also if you want you can grab it from here and it will stay this you can grab it from here <laughs> and i may it may you know it may lose it may get lo loose um you, you will keep it on your hand so i did that before and um, i will undo this and i'll do it uh, back again with a good uh, glue also i will uh, finish uh, fixing the the other ones but basically it's the the same thing so don't be cheap <laughs> use the the good uh, glue and you will not have any problems otherwise 
uh, you're going to you're not going to have a successful repair or it will not last uh, very long you can use like i said some people will say well i all i have is this yes but if you keep using it you know and the the machine the the miner is, is working and it has the vibration of the fans and everything and over time one of these sinking uh, heat sink will drop and you will not notice until it's too late and it will fry so basically avoid having those issues hopefully this class was useful if you want to know or see or learn more about mining i have a playlist that talks about how to set the map and everything else in my youtube channel if you want to hire me just let me know in the description or contact me and see you in the next class bye